Hi there, and welcome back to Lean Reads, the channel where we share powerful insights and personal growth lessons through great books. What if the universe was born from nothing? What if every atom in your body was once forged inside a dying star? In Genesis, the story of how everything began, Guido Tonelli brings cutting-edge physics to life, showing us how the cosmos gave birth to matter, stars, earth, and finally us. While you're listening, if you enjoy what you hear and want to dive deeper, we've included a link to the book in the description below. Now, let's get started. Human life is fleeting compared to the lifespan of the universe. Even the 100,000-year history of humankind, or the millions of years of life on Earth are insignificant when set against this vast mother cosmos. So, aren't you curious about when the universe was born, or how it came into being? The book Genesis, the story of how everything began by the brilliant Italian physicist Guido Tonelli offers a fascinating attempt to answer these very questions. Guido Tonelli is an Italian physicist who played a key role in the discovery of the Higgs boson, often dubbed the God Particle. For his groundbreaking contributions, Tonelli was awarded the Medal of Merit of the Italian Republic in 2012, the Enrico Fermi Prize by the Italian Physical Society, and the prestigious $3 million Special Breakthrough Prize in Fundamental Physics. He is currently a professor of general physics at the University of Pisa and a visiting scientist at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. Every culture has its own story about how the universe began, from Greek mythology to tales of the destroyer god Shiva, to legends of the divine creator. Yet, despite our differences in language and worldview, one thing is universal. We all share the same curiosity about our own origins and the origins of the cosmos. For many, this profound question is even seen as the very reason for our existence. Alongside myths full of imagination and mystical wonder, humanity also has a different story, one that is more grounded, rational, yet equally mysterious and awe-inspiring the scientific history of the universe. In this book, you will be taken on a journey through 13.8 billion years of cosmic history, based on the most cutting-edge research and the distilled wisdom humanity has gathered so far. At the very beginning, the universe was nothing more than a mysterious void. Yet within that void, extraordinary events were already unfolding. According to the laws of physics, even empty space is never truly empty. Instead, it experiences quantum fluctuations, rapid, temporary changes in energy at a single point. Initially, these fluctuations were tiny. But then, something extraordinary happened. The process was amplified. As the vacuum fluctuated, a process known as inflation began. The tiny bubble of vacuum undergoing quantum fluctuations suddenly swelled at unimaginable speed, faster than the speed of light. In an instant, the microscopic became macroscopic, expanding violently outward. Then, the bubble burst, and the universe was born. We still don't fully understand this earliest era of the universe. The deeper we dig the more we realize how little we actually know. But one intriguing conclusion stands out. The universe was born from nothingness. At first glance, this sounds absurd. Look around you. The world is full of tangible things. From the chair you sit on to your own body. How could the author claim that the universe is merely a transformation of nothingness? Perhaps the confusion lies in the interpretation. What Tonelli refers to is a striking feature of the cosmos. Its total energy is zero. In other words, all the positive energy contained in matter is exactly balanced out by the negative energy of gravity. After the initial inflationary period, the universe entered a new phase. But if you could have witnessed it at that moment, you likely wouldn't have believed your eyes. Everything was nothing more than a shapeless sea of gas, made up of countless tiny particles. Each of these particles had no mass and moved at the speed of light. From every perspective, the early universe looked perfectly uniform. Had it remained that way, the cosmos would have been forever barren. But then came the Higgs boson and everything changed. Particles that interacted with this mysterious boson underwent profound transformations. Specifically, as they moved through the Higgs field, their speeds slowed and they began to acquire mass. In fact, some particles became so heavy they grew unstable and vanished almost instantly. Others, however, gained just enough mass to remain stable. These survivors became the essential building blocks of the universe's evolution. Because different particles acquired different masses through the Higgs field, the perfect symmetry of the early universe suddenly broke apart. Diversity took over. As the universe expanded and cooled, conditions no longer supported Higgs boosts and softer, completing their mission they disappeared as if they had never existed. The Higgs field was crucial for several reasons. First, it allowed particles to gain mass, breaking the uniformity of the primordial universe, but it did more than that. It also shaped the universe's fundamental forces enabling two of them electromagnetism and the weak nuclear force to split apart. The consequences of this separation were enormous. Subatomic particles, some of the universe's most basic components, could now form more stable arrangements. These arrangements became the foundation for the material world we know today. 
At this stage, the universe had already matured into something slightly more recognizable. One of the most pivotal events of this early epoch was the appearance of the first protons. These tiny particles acted as the fundamental bricks of the cosmos. Simple yet resilient, they were indispensable for constructing more complex and magnificent cosmic structures. Electrons, too, played a vital role. As temperatures cooled, they became calmer and more predictable. For the first time, the electrons were able to orbit protons in stable patterns, forming the first atoms and molecules. Meanwhile, photons, the quantum particles of light, were preparing for their grand debut. Before this moment, photons couldn't travel freely. They were constantly absorbed and re-emitted by clouds of electrons, trapped in a cosmic fog. But eventually, conditions changed. Freed at last, photons streamed outward across the cosmos. This great release of light spread throughout the universe, marking one of the most defining milestones in cosmic history. At this stage of cosmic history, the pace slowed. Instead of changes unfolding over hundreds of thousands of years, transformations now stretched across hundreds of millions, and with this shift in tempo, a new protagonist took the spotlight, gravity until then. Gravity had played only a minor role in the unfolding of the universe, but as matter spread throughout space mostly in the form of gas gravity began to assert its influence. The universe was now filled with atoms primarily hydrogen and helium, drifting freely but ready to combine into more stable structures. Quantum fluctuations had earlier distributed matter unevenly across the cosmos, leaving behind tiny clumps with slightly higher density. Over time, gravity caused these dense regions to pull in more material. The more mass they collected, the stronger their gravitational pull became. This feedback loop led to the slow but steady growth of massive gas clouds, dominated by hydrogen. Eventually, after millions of years of gathering mass, these clouds developed dense, hot cores. When pressure and temperature at their centers grew extreme, nuclear fusion began hydrogen atoms smashing together to form helium. The result was a burst of heat and light. The first stars, about 200 million years after the Big Bang, these giant stars so massive they are often called superstars, ignited. They were not only enormous but also transformative, acting as nuclear furnaces that forged heavier elements. These heavier elements became the raw ingredients for later generations of stars and for the planets that would orbit them. As the stars lived out their lives, they eventually exhausted their fuel. Some collapsed, others exploded in brilliant supernova, scattering hydrogen, helium, and newly forged elements into space. Gravity went back to work. Over millions of years, these scattered materials clumped together once more, forming new, larger, and more complex structures. Galaxies. Today it is widely accepted that most galaxies harbor a supermassive black hole at their center. In the Milky Way, ours is known as Sagittarius A asterisk, a dark giant weighing more than 4 million suns. As these black holes consumed matter, not everything was swallowed. Momentum caused some material stars dust and gas to orbit around the galactic center, creating the rotating disks that give galaxies their striking spiral shapes. The Milky Way itself is a vast, spiral galaxy made up of gas, dust, dark matter, and an astonishing 200 billion stars. And here is a thought-provoking coincidence. Astronomers estimate there are also 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe. In other words, the number of galaxies in the universe mirrors the number of stars in our own Milky Way by this point. About 4 billion years had passed since the birth of the cosmos. The universe had matured into a grand stage of galaxies, each with its own story. Among them was one quiet, seemingly unremarkable spiral galaxy, whose central black hole sat dormant waiting for something extraordinary to happen. Billions of years had passed since the Milky Way first took shape. By then, the galaxy's orbit around its central black hole had settled into relative stability. The early chaotic phase of the universe was over. Sagittarius A asterisk, the giant black hole at the heart of the Milky Way, had long ago devoured stars, clouds of gas, and perhaps even smaller black holes. Now, however, it had grown quiet, no longer threatening the celestial bodies orbiting around it. This cosmic calm created the perfect conditions for matter to begin self-organizing into ever more complex structures. In one particular region of the Milky Way, repeated supernova explosions scattered vast amounts of gas and dust into space. This molecular cloud, composed primarily of hydrogen and helium, also contained trace amounts of heavier elements such as carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and iron the essential ingredients of planets and life. Gradually, the molecular cloud cooled, slowing its expansion under the relentless pull of gravity. As more and more material was drawn together, clumps grew larger and denser. Eventually, one massive portion of the cloud collapsed to ignite a hot, dense star, our sun. The leftover material surrounding it flattened into a swirling protoplanetary disk. Over time, collisions and accumulation within the disk gave birth to the planets we know today. First came the gas giants Jupiter, 
Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, followed by the rocky inner planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Of these, the third planet proved to be extraordinary. Its gravity was strong enough to hold an atmosphere, while repeated bombardments by water-rich comets and asteroids gradually filled its surface with vast oceans. This planet Earth became a cradle for life. Around 3.5 billion years ago, the first simple organisms appeared, tiny one-celled algae that began Earth's long evolutionary story. Over time, life grew increasingly diverse and complex, adapting to changing environments. Eventually, after billions of years, one remarkable species emerged, a species capable not only of survival, but of questioning its place in the cosmos, tracing the origins of the universe itself back nearly 13.8 billion years. The universe is both mysterious and magnificent. From the birth of galaxies to the rise of solar systems, from the formation of Earth to the emergence of life, its story is also our story. And while many profound questions remain unanswered, the ultimate origins, the reasons for our existence, these mysteries ignite the boundless curiosity of humankind. Reading Genesis, the story of how everything began, felt like embarking on a journey across time itself. Guido Tonelli takes us by the hand and guides us through the dizzying complexity of cosmic history from the quantum fluctuations of nothingness to the birth of stars and galaxies, to the emergence of Earth and human beings. What struck me most is the sense of fragility and wonder. For billions of years, the universe unfolded without purpose, driven only by the laws of physics. And yet, within this immense process, conditions aligned just right to allow life to appear and eventually to give rise to us, creatures capable of asking why we are here. Tonelli's storytelling reminds us that the universe is not just a backdrop but the very force that shaped our existence. Every atom in our bodies was forged in the hearts of ancient stars. Every thought we have is part of a chain of events that began 13.8 billion years ago. For me, the book is both humbling and uplifting. It humbles us by showing how small we are compared to the immensity of the cosmos, but it also uplifts us by reminding us that we are part of this grand story. We are the universe reflecting on itself, seeking to understand its own beginnings. In the end, Genesis is not only about where everything came from it is about why the search for origins matters. It fuels our imagination, deepens our appreciation for science, and awakens a renewed sense of awe for the mystery of existence. From quantum fluctuations to the rise of human consciousness, Genesis is not just science it's a reflection on why we are here. This is more than a book. It's a journey through time itself. Don T. Just wonder you can also buy the book to experience it more clearly as well as support the author. I will leave the link in the description below for you to easily search. If you like the channel, you can press the like button, share and turn on the notification bell to receive new content. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video.